got the Yo, did you come here to start building this KLX or what? I came here to raise hell and praise Dale. Okay. Raise hell and praise Dale? Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> so guys, Kyle just joined the party. We got Pauline. We're out here in the garage today. We're just gonna start tearing apart this video. Welcome back to <laughs> tearing apart the video. Hell, <laughs> I was gonna start video so i just totally butchered that but welcome back to the video guys we're gonna start tearing apart this uh klx here uh yeah we're gonna put it up on a jack stand you got chocolate milk yes sir <laughs> he's got chocolate milk we're gonna put this thing up on a uh, on a motorcycle stand here and we're gonna start taking a look at it see what we can pull off right now i got a lot of parts coming tomorrow so, um, I don't know. I don't know what I could get done yet. Uh, jets won't be here for a while, but that's all right. Uh, it is what it is, you know? They'll send them when they send them, when you guys feel like it. You, you guys send the jets when you feel like it. Um, so, yeah, we're going to, I think, get this thing up. So, welcome back to JBADV, guys. My name's Jacob, and like always, everything's an experiment on this channel, unless it works. Then I planned it that way. But, you know, so here we are, and uh, let's get to it. All right, guys, so like I said, welcome back. This is the KLX build series. Um, so like I said in the last video, what we're doing is we are tearing this thing down. We got a bunch of parts ordered. This thing is street titled. So we're gonna try to make this as best of an enduro as we possibly can. So like I said, we have new headlight coming, new bars, new grips, new hand guards, uh, maybe new plastics. We haven't decided that far yet. But we have all the electric to do, the full exhaust to get done, which is going to be a, a really nice touch, I think. We got to jet it, so we got to pull the car. Just a lot of little odds and ends that we got to get. What are you doing back there? <laughs> a lot of odds and ends that we got to get done. So uh, we started taking this apart. So we're just going to start pulling it apart. I mean, parts going to be showing up any day now. So we're just going to start pulling this thing apart, get the tank off, kind of strip it down as best as we can, clean up in certain areas. Oh, and the other thing that we have going on is a vapor uh, dash. So we got the Trail Tech vapor coming in. Uh, I'm really pumped to install that. It seems oh, pretty trust. easy. Yeah, it seems pretty easy to install that. So uh, I'm pumped. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, let's just keep going and we'll see uh, how stripped down we can make this bike. You know, what are you, what are you doing? I'm petting the cock. I'm in a. Why am I trying to do this from the other side of the bike? Yeah, that's, what I'm, in there. that's what I'm trying to do. I don't understand yeah. what I'm doing here. I'm just going to take the rest off. No, actually, that's the mechanic's trick. If you put everything back together and you have spare parts, saves weight, and uh, yeah, there's really no downsides. Or you just find a spot to put it. Yeah, or you just find a new spot to put it. I mean, really, <laughs> there's. So we got this. We got it. It's all right. Great. Yeah. I have faith. <laughs> Not. She's a little dirty there, man. Oh yeah. It's from all those track days. <laughs> That's probably why we're missing a spoke. <laughs> we'll have to fix that down the road, I guess. She's mid. The bars aren't coming for a little bit longer, so maybe if we just keep the, we could pull like this off and shit, like the front, but if we just keep the bars and stuff the way that they are right now, we won't have to mess with the throttle cable or anything. Sorry, we could just see where the tuning is for the for the exhaust when it comes in. I think that'll probably be the best play for right now. At least we pulled this off for now. We can probably take the cover off the battery. I don't really see us needing oh, that. Just, just hmm? Just loops on right here. Yeah, but we're changing the full thing. Oh, we're doing the whole thing. The full exhaust. What's nice is the Pro Circuit exhaust. You can use that shield. You can still use the shield too. Nice. Yeah, I actually like that. Seventy. Oh, you're trying to be serious? <laughs> no, I'm not trying to be serious at all. Well, kind of. <laughs> but. Wait, wait, guys wait. we're tearing this thing apart if you can tell we're just having a blast with it i think that's the direction i'm trying to go with this channel just i'm trying to blast. yeah and uh <laughs> honestly gotta make sure your air box is nice and clean <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i'm dying so i'm just taking the exhaust off guys um, we have the new one coming, so I just want to get as close to like ready to put new parts on as possible. Um, so I'm just going to take the exhaust off because we're not riding this any day soon right now, uh, or any time soon rather. So 
I'm just gonna pull this thing off and uh, yeah, maybe just clean up a couple parts while we're at it tonight, but I think that's gonna pretty much call it for tonight once we get this off. And then uh, we're gonna pick this video back up in probably a couple days when, um, when the parts get in. So hope you guys are enjoying this video so far of us just tearing this down, having a good time, just laughing and shit. So um, two days later. We got parts for the KLX and we're gonna build up this bike. Starting first, the exhaust. Let me show you exactly what we got in each one of these packages, guys. It's a couple days later now. We got the parts in. Uh, I'm really pumped for this. So we're gonna start with the exhaust first because all the other parts, uh, which I'll get into in a minute, we have to pretty much start the bike to calibrate them and so on and so forth. So without having the exhaust, that'd be a little bit of an issue. So uh, we're gonna get right into the exhaust first, but let me show you what else we bought, okay guys? All right guys, so for box one, this is actually from Revzilla. Uh, I got one piece from Amazon in here too, but it's pretty anticlimactic, guys, I'll be honest with you, but I'll show you what we got in here anyway. Uh, I have two quarts of Kawasaki's Pro uh, Synthetic Oil. I, I'm, I'm sure in the comment section below, you guys will <laughs> talk about what oil everybody runs. It's always the, the comment, right? But uh, we just went with Kawasaki. Nothing crazy. Um, we also got, I said like from Amazon, just inline fuse here, uh, two of them. I think I'm gonna need these five amp fuses. If not, then no biggie. I'll definitely use them down in the future for something else or a couple bucks. Um, along with that, uh, we did get ODI lock-on grips, guys. Um, white, I think, was the only color they had in stock. I didn't really look around too hard. It was kind of between white or black, I think. Um, White's just gonna be really cool uh, for the opening like color scheme, I think. But um, yeah, I know they're gonna get destroyed. But along with that, these do come with the different cams for different bikes, which is really awesome. They don't come with the cam for the KLX right from the bat though. So you, you do have to order the cam, which I did order. That's gonna be in the Rocky Mountain box. So, uh, but I did order the cam that apparently works with the KLX 140G. So we'll definitely find out, but uh, let's let's hope it works. Um, I also got Pro Taper Fat Bar Adapters. So they're universal. If you guys have ever done a fat bar swap on any bikes, uh, you'll know that these take it from a 7 8 to a 1 and 1 8 uh, So you can run the bigger bars. They also add about like 3 quarters of an inch of rise, which is really nice. We definitely need that since we are an adult on this bike. Um, the only thing I do not have coming in the mail today, guys, is the actual bars themselves, which sucks, but it is what it is. They'll be sometime next week. Uh, so. I'll be able to mount some stuff just to be able to set it up and everything, which we'll get into in a minute, but um, I'll have to pull it back off and stuff. So not a big deal. So that was box one, not a big deal. Let's move on to box two. All right, guys, here's box two. This one's from Rocky Mountain. This has like the majority of everything we ordered. Um, so inside this box, we got a, a lot of different goodies. We're gonna start with what's right up on top. This is from Trail Tech. This is their Vapor Dash system, which is really awesome. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun to install this, see how it works. On the back, it shows you exactly the comparison of each one, but uh, the short version of this is it'll do the speed, the temp, and the tack. It also does some other things as well, which is pretty cool, like your mileage and everything else. So it'll, and that's what it looks like really quick right there if you wanna see that. Uh, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, it comes with everything you need apparently to mount it up. So that'll be really cool to see how that works. Uh, going with the Enduro route, we did go with the Polysport Halo light. This is not the LED version, but um, because there's a little bit more wiring involved in that. So this is just the straight H4 bulb, 35 watt bulb that's in there. It also has a little LED running light, kind of like a city light um, that's in there too. So we're gonna see how to wire that up. Um, but this comes with everything you need. Um, the back shows you a little wiring diagram. It comes with extensions, so if you wanna mount this a little further away, which I think we're gonna to have to do on this so we can tuck a lot of this wiring up, um, you could do that. But it, it's it's pretty plug and play, to be honest, for any universal uh, thing you wanna do. So, um, but we want black and white. So you can see white grips, black and white. We're kind of trying to fade more into the black style here for the bike. So um, that's gonna be really cool. I have a couple Tusk universal uh, hydraulic switches for the brakes, front and back. The back's gonna be a little tricky on this bike to mount up because there's not a lot of tolerance room there. So I think I'm gonna have to do it a very untraditional way, but 
uh, or maybe not install it at all. I'm not sure yet, but I ordered two just in case. I didn't know how long the wire was. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is I already ordered open one just to see. That was the one thing that's making me nervous, but we're gonna, we're gonna see how this plays out. So I got two of those. Here is the Tusk taillight with LED in it. It does not have integrated turn signals or anything. Um, I have turn signals in here as well, but this is the full fender uh, with the taillight. So that's gonna get mounted up here as well. So that's pretty cool. We have uh, an exhaust gasket. So you, you need the exhaust gasket. That's pretty self-explanatory. We have a uh, on off switch from Tusk. This goes along with their whole Enduro kit guys. The whole Enduro kit. Uh, what else do I have? Let's see here, we have the, the cam. This is the cam for the grip. So apparently this one's supposed to work for me. This is the L, it says Kawasaki 140 on it. So I can't imagine it not working. So there's that. Uh, directions, a very basic wiring scheme for the kit. So it should help though. What else we got? Uh, this is the actual wiring harness itself for the whole kit. So uh, looks pretty good. Everything's colored nicely. So a lot of zip ties they include, cool. Uh, I'm running out of space on this side, but let's see what else we have here. We have, oh, this is the compact switch. This actually has your horn button on it. Lights off, low and high. And uh, what else does it have? Oh, turn signal switch too. So that's cool. Um, they give you one mirror. I don't think we're gonna be using this, but they do give you one mirror. I think uh, either I accidentally ordered two cams or they sent an extra by accident. Um, if you don't tell, I won't, but yeah, I don't I don't know. I probably ordered two by accident. I, I don't know yet. Uh, what else do we have? LED flasher relay, since our LEDs will be, our, our blinkers will be LEDs, so to speak. What else do we have here? Oh, universal horn. So if you guys look at the kit, you can kind of figure out where we're heading here. It is kind of the whole dual sport kit. Uh, here is, actually we'll get into those. Um, and we'll get into, the, okay, that pretty much boils us right down to the next bit. So. They do have uh, two sets of blinkers that they give you to run, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, the, I, I wish the backs, they gave you the option to not have the orange lenses on it because the front is actually clear. Kind of nice, there's no way to swap those, but I wish they gave you the option for the back because I would have gone with like smoked or something. But moving on guys, adapters for handguards. So these are actually big adapters for handguards. I went with the Tusk D Sport uh, handguards. They're cheap, they look like they're gonna do the job. I already run the Zetas like I talked about in my last video on my uh, CRF. And I was actually thinking about ordering these too. The only reason why I didn't is because they only come in with black shields. So, but uh, we have that, the big ones. We have the big wraparound bars for the hand guards as well. Uh, the other thing is I wish these were a little bit like, had like a nice bend to them like the Psychers do, but it's okay for the price, I'm not gonna complain. And then, uh, yeah, so that leads us to the actual hand guards right there. And then the last bit is the blinkers that are gonna be integrated, similar to my bike, but on this bike, they're gonna be integrated in. So that's everything out of this box. I'm just gonna start throwing things back into this box now, guys. And uh, we'll move over to the other box, which actually makes the fun noise. All right, guys, on to box three. Uh, this is the one I'm most excited for, to be completely honest with you. Uh, just because I, I don't have any experience with this brand yet, but this is the full pro circuit exhaust. We went with the T6. I couldn't pass it up. A lot of people run T4, but it's, uh, I don't know. I just don't like the way it looks at all. I really don't. This looks way better. Uh, I have not seen it in person yet. So opening this today will be uh, the first time I'm seeing it, but uh, it, it has the full titanium with the carbon fiber tip. It, it looks pretty cool. So the T6 is apparently a way better exhaust than the T4. So uh, I would hope so, because it costs a little bit more, but for the price, I, I couldn't pass it up. So we got the full pro circuit uh, exhaust for this bike. This is gonna be the first thing that we put on uh, just because all the other parts, like the vapor dash and everything else, I, I kind of want to be able to turn on the bike and let it idle and everything else so I could see how the reading is for temperature and make sure everything's calibrated and working right. Um, so I wanna be able to turn on the bike. So I'm gonna fit the exhaust to it first. Also, I have jets coming at a later date. So with the exhaust put on first, I already know the bike runs lean from the factory. So we were gonna rejet it regardless when we did this, but now I'll be able to see how far off we are. I, I expect when we do an audio test on this, we're gonna see it's, it's gonna fall on its face. It's gonna be very lean. So uh, 
yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So without that, uh, I guess I'm just gonna open this up. Let's see how this thing looks because this is gonna be the first thing that I install anyway. So, and yeah, this thing looks awesome. So here we go, guys. This is uh, the muffler itself, the silencer. So this thing looks awesome. I, I love the, I love the carbon fiber on it. It almost looks like it's got a protective, like, no, it looks really good. Uh, seriously, it does. I think it does have like a little, no, that's just that that I'm feeling. It almost does look like a film on it. Right, but yes. it does, yeah, but it's just really shiny. Yeah. I like that, it's nice. So yeah, guys, uh, welds look beautiful on this. Um, all across the board, they really do. Looks like they took their time with it, which is what I appreciate. It's what I've heard from a lot of people. They say go pro circuit. Um, not to, not that any other brand is, is bad. Um, we were actually originally gonna go with FMF, but I've heard that pro circuit has the bigger diameter pipe. So I wanted to go with that. Uh, so that's the muffler and where's the actual pipe? I keep calling it a muffler. I know it's a silencer guys. So here we go. Here is the actual pipe itself, the header. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know necessarily how much wider that is. Okay, it is right here. So yeah, you can see this, this looks like the stock diameter guys, but you can see halfway through the pipe, it goes into the larger diameter and then it flanges again where it slips on. But right here, you can see where it opens up a little bit more, but this definitely looks stock to me. Uh, this diameter going through here. So I would say that's probably another eighth of an inch larger in diameter But yeah, once again, everything looks really good on it So and what I really appreciate about this which you'll see later in the install is that you use your factory heat shield So that's cool. All right. They also give you uh, two stickers So, uh, you know, don't buy a part unless it comes with a sticker. That's that's my motto, <laughs> you know um, and a bolt I don't know which bolt this is gonna be for but Yeah a bolt. <laughs> so I'll have to definitely uh, look at the directions, see what they say about it, and uh, we'll check back in with you guys in a minute. All right, guys. So we're just going to jump right into it. Um, I mean, this isn't going to take too long to install this. I can't imagine it would. So I'm just going to start with the, uh, the header pipe. Uh, new exhaust gasket. In. Hopefully it stays put. No, it's not going to. It won't stay. It never does. There we go. All right, so we got it to stay put right now, which is fine. Just so it doesn't come off. Mm -hmm. This one's tighter, but it's okay. We'll get in there. Okay, so they're just loosely fitted for right now. I wanna be able to make sure that I could uh, move this all around before I slip everything on. Uh, it also wants to put anti-seize on here, which makes sense. It doesn't say anything about using the stock uh, like clamp but I'm going to, I don't see really the, the reason not to. It fits right over this perfectly fine. Finger painting. Yeah. It's just getting it on is the and I have to figure out where exactly it has to be because of mounting it up so okay so silencer is up with the bolt that they supply this is the bolt that they give you you got to still use your stock bolt there so I just have to move this up and there it is pretty much in the hole and then everything else should line right up so that's why I keep it nice and loose and uh, yeah, and then we could go ahead and tighten everything down. So I actually had to undo this bolt fully just so I could give this enough room to get this in. I thought for some reason, I was like, why are these not lining up? But it was just, it's a new exhaust. You, there's probably a little bit of a manufacturer like offset a little bit somewhere, but it fits. So now I just gotta snug everything down. So uh, we're gonna do that now. I also tightened up the little uh, clamp to hold it together works great. So just use your stock clamp if you guys upgrade to this. Um, but what I like about this exhaust, it uses the stock heat shield. So uh, I'm gonna install that now. Squinking. Yeah, it's squeaky. Oh All right. 
That's it. All right, guys, so I lowered down the stand. Tank is on, um, chokes up, and we're gonna try to uh, get this thing started up and I'll let you know how it is. Once again, this is with the silencer in and I'm gonna do it with the silencer out as well. Alright guys, so I am absolutely thrilled with that. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, uh, but, and I didn't do a stock video on the stock exhaust guys, I'm really sorry. Last night you saw that chaotic intro. Uh, we were just having a blast and we just want to tear this thing apart and have fun with it. Um, but in all seriousness, that's with the silencer in. Yeah, it sounds really good. Now I'm gonna pull the silencer out and I'm gonna hear how much bark this really has. That's gonna pretty much make this like a straight pipe. So. Uh, We'll check back in with you guys once I pull that silencer out. All right, guys, so there you go. One little tiny Allen key is all you need to get in there and take the one screw out. And then this should just pop right out. There you go. There we go. All right, so uh, insert your jokes down below, but yep. That's all it is. One little tiny screen. Uh, that's the nice part about this though, actually, if you guys are worried when you take it out, if, uh, if this screw was to fall down, you can get it back out. So it, it's not too bad, but that's what it looks like now. That's a, that's a huge hole. Uh, so we're, we're gonna see how this thing sounds now. It is pretty much completely open. describe that guys if you guys uh listen i picked this thing up for 320 dollars all right holy shit <laughs> like, there's, this thing's incredible uh this thing sounds like a full 250 now um i i don't know i'm, I'm gonna have to just throw one on my bike now i guess i i don't i don't even know i point over there because i'm so used to the bike sitting over there but uh i guess i'm just gonna have to throw it on my bike now this thing just sounds so good <laughs> Uh, I can't wait to take this thing out, let it eat, and see how it sounds. Alright guys, so that's the install of the Pro Circuit T6. I love this pipe so far. I actually just took it up the road and back down the road. It's definitely lean. I definitely need to throw more fuel at it, so we will be rejetting it as I expected. But, uh, this thing sounds amazing, especially echoing off all the other houses in the neighborhood, but yeah, no, this thing sounds absolutely incredible. Uh, so guys, that's going to wrap up the first video of this build series. Uh, I showed you guys the parts that we got. Now I'm going to start throwing them together. I'm going to do a little bit of a video for each one. I have no idea how many videos is going to be in this series, but I figured I'd try to showcase as best as I can all the progress that we're making or any uh, issues we've run into. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, thumbs up, like always. Hit the subscribe button. We're close to 600 subscribers. 
For me not posting in a while, you guys are the best. Seriously, I, I cannot thank you guys enough. But guys, more content is definitely coming. We're close to 600. I want to see 600. Let's hit it. Share this video if you can. Let's get the views back up. Um, yeah, guys, just stay posted. Um, I also did get parts in for my CRF, but we'll talk about that later. So thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you.